Hello Scorpio, it's my lady from my lady's way tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of June 10th through the 17th, 2019. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I'm closing off with my Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. Alright guys, let's get this shit on the road. Alright, what's going on with the Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Alright, so I think somebody is breaking free from someone who they believe is a soulmate, okay? Um, I do feel like... I do feel like somebody was using the soulmate thing to um to hold somebody back to keep somebody down basically to use somebody and I feel like whoever is being used in this situation they're starting to become angry and mean to everybody around except the one person that's holding them back or using them okay All right, so we got the song of the siren here. So I do feel like um, you got friends and family telling you, I'm just say you, it could be the other way around, or you could be telling a friend this. Um, they're telling you like how you're acting different, what this person is doing to you, and um, they just telling you everything that's going on, okay? I do feel like you got um, angels and spirits um, trying to tell you as well. All right. All right. So it seems like you may not want this person to leave. Of course, you don't want this person to leave because I do feel like a lot of care. I don't see any love yet, but I do feel like there's a lot of care here. And I feel like you don't want this person to leave. I feel like you sensing that this person wants to leave, but this po person that you're dealing with didn't let you know that yet. They like, you can go when I'm ready for you to go. You can go when I say go, not when you want to go. Okay, that's how this person rolls. Okay. All right. So, we got the telepathy card here. Um, when I see this card, I think of grown-up activity. So, I do feel like... I'm going to just be straight up. I feel like grown-up activity is one of the reasons why you guys are still together on your point. I feel like that's why you allow this person to do as much as they do is because of the grown-up activity okay and then i do feel like you're getting messages about this grown-up activity as well let's go what's going on here okay so this is the self-examination card okay this is the mirror so i do feel like there's some things going on medically that you may want to get checked out i do feel like somebody's trying to act like they're not seeing stuff, okay? So, yeah, somebody needs to head to the doctor here, okay? Somebody's not getting checked up and stuff. Somebody needs to uh, check up. All right, so we got the crane bag here. So I do feel like, yeah, you're holding on to a little bit of baggage. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, so I do feel like you're holding on baggage. The baggage in this case is feeling like um, everything is going to be great for you guys. You know, I just hoping everything is going to turn around and do better. Okay, but meanwhile, you having senses and this person is thinking about leaving you. So I guess after they get a, to a certain level, level or after they get what they want, that's when they're going to do it. But we're going to see what this soul cage is in a second. Oh, wow. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so it seems like... All right, let me move this over. It seems like this person either only been around for six months or a year or less, or um, this person has been acting weird and wanting to leave for the past um, three months. 
Okay, but this also could be I uh, this also could be you've been thinking about leaving. But I feel like somebody may be using the soulmate card. You want to leave, but you're using the soulmate card to stick around, okay? All right, let's see what this soul cage reverse did. Four card, please. All right, so soul cage reverse. I do feel like you having dreams. These dreams are messages, okay? I do feel like you wake up feeling like this stuff is going on. Feeling like you know where this person is. I do feel like those are the signs you are being sent. So definitely listen to those, okay? Because they're telling you what's really going on. I do feel like some of you guys can't sleep, but I do feel like anxiety and hurt while you're asleep, okay? Or while you're trying to go to sleep when it's sleep time, okay? All right, so we got the voyage card here. Um, so I do feel like somebody's getting ready to move out, but I feel like this un move out is unexpected. I do feel like there was talks had between the person you're dealing with and you about what's going on. I think this person sort of got the, uh, they realized that you weren't happy. Okay. And it's just like, uh, I'm going to leave you before you leave me thing. So it's like, they tried to get you to stay around or trying to get you to stay around so they can leave when they want to leave. And I think they just going to go. Okay. Alright. Let's see what's going on. With the wild unknown tarot cards. What's going on? Okay. Yikes. Alright. So I do feel like some unexpected bills are getting ready to come in. Alright. Or somebody may end up losing a job or ranking down somehow. Okay. Or I heard items missing. So if this person does leave, I do feel like they're going to take some stuff that's not theirs. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What's going on? What's going on? All right. So it seems like somebody is trying to rebuild from a tower moment. Something that just suddenly just went wrong and i feel like this is after this movement okay but possibly could be during it all right so it seems like there's some kind of something going on at work could be a third party situation could be um just somebody fighting hard for recognition okay but whatever it is i feel like it's two people against one Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords here. So I feel like somebody may be trapped in some kind of situation. Mm. All right, we're going to have to get some clarifiers out here. All right, so we got the Judgment card reversed. All right, so I do feel like there's two people against one here. I do feel like somebody feels like they trapped. So I feel like for some of you, you may work with this person. That is um, uh, basically using you, okay? And I, now I feel like they're getting other people to look at you in some funny kind of way, okay? I do think it's not right how they're trying to get people to look at you, but I do feel like you feel stuck there, okay? So let's see what this Three of Pentacles. All right, so we got the Three of Pentacles. So we got the father of swords here. So I I feel like it might be some drama going on at work. Oh, I really do. Okay. Drama going on at work or it could be something going on with that material thing that I was seeing missing. That's an uh, unexpected bill coming in. So this could be work or this could be court. Okay. But I do feel like the situation is going to be analyzed between the people that's in there. And I do feel like somebody is going to get in trouble for it. Okay. Um... I do feel like the people who are trying to bully the other person is going to be going to be in trouble. Okay, um, we got this eight of what is that? Swords, swords, swords. What is this eight of swords about? All right, so I do feel like somebody is going to be. I feel like somebody's going to be happy with the decision that was made here. 
okay? So I do feel like if somebody was bullying you at work after you stop dealing with them or they stop dealing with you, they start trying to, like, bully you and get you in trouble, I do feel like they're going to have to pay for that. And I feel like they're going to end up getting in trouble, okay? So this could be a situation where somebody could have vandalized some of your stuff at work. Somebody could have took something out of your locker and it got something to do with um, someone that you stopped talking to or stopped talking to you. Um, I do feel like they're going to get in trouble, okay? But I do feel like you're going to be happy with the decision, but I do feel like you're going to be mentally trapped by the whole situation too. Um, as long as you work in this place or you are in this area where this happened, okay? Let's see what this judgment reversed. All right, so the judgment reversed, so I do feel like a lot of things were being hidden from you, okay? So it's basically somebody just moving somebody's stuff around. I do still feel like somebody was hiding something. Yeah, somebody stole something. Okay, this is where I stole some. Uh, some <laughs> where I stole some. Um, when I see this, I feel someone stole something. Somebody took something and ran away. I feel like there's a lot of arguing and fighting going on. I do feel like somebody took something and hid it. Okay, somebody took something, hid it, and ran went away. Okay, so this could be like dealing with people at work, or this could be dealing with people at home. And then I feel like if this is at home, I do feel like somebody is going to get in trouble. Whoever took the stuff or stole the stuff or hid the stuff is going to get in trouble for it, okay? All right, and I do feel like they didn't do it alone. All right, so we got the Emperor card here. Um, I think we saw the Tower reverse, so I do feel like somebody is building more structure and stability in their life after this situation. And, um, yeah, I feel like possibly some of you guys might be moving up in, in the company or moving into you want what you want to do by yourself. I do feel like there's going to be more of a entrepreneur attitude. Okay. All right. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.